All right, Coach, we are here in Salem, Virginia, and you have just been awarded not just the CIAA Northern Division Championship Trophy, but also the CIAA Football Coach of the Year. Tell me how you're what's going through your mind right now. I'm just thankful. Thankful. You know, I'm extremely humbled about it. You know, um, I just want everybody to know it's not, it's not necessarily about me. You know, it's about, you know, all these guys I coach, about, you know, um, all these guys that work with me on the staff. You know, um, it's, it's a team award, I believe. So, you know, um, I'm extremely humbled by it. You know, thank you to the CIAA for, 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 for giving me that honor. But, you know, it's so much more bigger than Dr. Alvin Parker. So, I, I, but I appreciate it. Grady Myers was the special teams player of the year. Justin Meade, the offensive lineman of the year. And then I believe we had 15 players make all CIAA or all rookie team. Was that surprising to you at all? Um, not necessarily surprising. I know we got a bunch of great players that can get it done. You know, I know we had a few more that I felt like missed out that had excellent seasons that, you know, probably should have been up there on that stage as well, you know. But um, the good thing about this is they get a chance to play tomorrow. So, you know, I'm excited about that. They get a chance to show the world, you know, why, they, why they're deserving. But, you know, I'm, again, thankful for, for everything that, that's come our way. You know, again, most of these guys, you know, um, that played and got named this, you know, um, did an excellent job of getting that, and, uh, and I'm honored for them. You've seen Salem Stadium. Now, it's not as big as Hubby, but same <laughs> turf field. So we're expecting a great crowd tomorrow? Absolutely. You know, everybody, you know, if you get a chance to watch this, it's definitely come out tomorrow. Um, a lot of people are already in town anticipating the game for tomorrow, you know. So um, we're going to go back to the hotel and, and get focused up and start to kind of, you know, um, you know, put into our Friday routine and, and kind of go from there. How hard has it been keeping the players focused on this game? Not hard at all. I think everybody knows kind of what's at stake and, and what's going on in championships. So, you know, I think everybody has the focus that they need to have. All right. Well, thank you, Coach. Good thank luck tomorrow, you. and we'll be talking then. I appreciate it.